I found the best place to shield surf in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I'd like to show you how I found it. But let's back up first. What is shield surfing? In Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Link can hop on a shield and ride throughout Hyrule with a running start by pressing ZL, X, and A. Throw in the fuse ability and things can get kinda crazy. While the rocket shield is ridiculously fun, there's another fusion, while as silly as it looks, is infinitely more practical and efficient. I'm talking meat, frozen meat. Grab a big old juicy steak and freeze it, slap that on your shield and man, surf slash skateboard of the century. Oh yeah, and you probably want a shield with high durability, so the Hylian shield is the obvious choice. So now we're ready to ride. But where to? I set out to find the raddest, the baddest, most totally tubular route one can ride all throughout Hyrule. So what's the criteria? Well, it's gotta be high, it's gotta be fast, and it's gotta allow for some sick tricks. So with that in mind, I think it's time for a few test runs. Mount Floria. We started off finding a Korok seed at the top, so that was a pretty good sign. It had some nice twists and turns, but I totally turned the wrong way, so we tried again. It was pretty cool, beautiful green space, but with some dips in the terrain, it was hard to keep the momentum. And part of our criteria is, it's gotta go fast. Hebra Peak. Next, I figured let's hit one of, if not the highest point in Hyrule, Hebra Peak. It's not Hebra, but it should be. I know it's Hebra. Starting from where you'd enter the Wind Temple, I hopped on my board and it was just okay. Definitely high up, but too rocky to really get a satisfying surf experience. Also, I had never seen one of these shrines before. And thought I was broken. Mount Laneru. I really liked surfing down Mount Laneru. You can hop on your shield right from the Skyview Tower and start shredding down the mountain. There were a lot of sharp corners, but they were just wide enough to make it through. Sliding past enemies was exciting, but the stone steps broke up some of the momentum. Mount Grenage. We surfed the snow, so now it was time to surf the sand. Coarse, rough, and getting everywhere. At the top, we met this dude named Rado who wanted to bet me some money to endure. <laughs> And we told him, how about new? And began to head down the summit. Sliding in the desert was really slick. Looked cool, felt cool, but even after a few attempts, I couldn't quite find a consistent path that would bring me down the mountain without either paragliding or falling to my doom. Overall, pretty good, wish it was longer. It was at this point I was getting discouraged. Some of these are pretty good, but not amazing. I tried to find what other people thought to be the best shield surfing spots online, and I stumbled upon this article from Pro Game Guides, listing 10 best places to shield surf, and they definitely had some good ones. Hateno Lab Ruins. Then I saw number one on the list, Death Mountain. And I'd like to quote what they wrote in the article here. Players might remember shield surfing down Death Mountain in the DLC for Breath of the Wild. It's just as fun to do in Tears of the Kingdom. In fact, it's easier to get to the top of Death Mountain by going to the Sitsum Shrine, which sits right below the mouth of the volcano. Once on top, players should head to coordinates and enjoy shield surfing right into the grasslands of Akala. Okay, so first, I really struggled to find these coordinates. Second, after I did, I could not figure out how to shield surf down effectively for the life of me. It was just too steep. I even made a ramp out of wood boards to help smooth out the descent and, well, you can see how well that went. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I don't know, man. This ain't it, chief. Just as I was about to give up on finding the best shield surfing spot in Tears of the Kingdom, I figured let's try the snow just one more time. I found myself at the bottom of a slope and thought, hmm, let's fly up there and see what the path looks like. And sure as sh I knew this was going to be perfect. Up high, fast, with ample room to pull off some sweet tricks. The most interesting part of all this is this spot doesn't even have a name. It's just two flagpoles in between Hebra Tundra and Hebra East Summit. Here's a picture of the map so you can screenshot and find it yourself. Even better, the end of the course takes you to the Sternita Secret Hot Spring, where you can rest and relax after a long day of surfing. And that is what I believe to be the best place to shield surf in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Did you find a better one? I doubt it, but uh, let me know in the comments below so we can try it out too. If you like what you watched, please leave a big old like on the video and consider subscribing. 
I'm looking forward to making more YouTube videos for y'all to enjoy. Until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!